Wagwan Massive, I'm F Zeba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, in today's video, I am coming to you with a very traditional Jamaican breakfast, and we're just going to show you how we turn my and make fashion and how we stretch the meal so that it can serve a whole lot of people. Let's get right into the video. This is an outdoor video, so everything, the whole setting is going to be outdoor. So right here we have some cook-up settings. We have some string bean, escalion, tomatoes, sweet pepper, onions, garlic, and some scotch bonnet pepper. We have our pick-up saltfish. We pick up the saltfish already. And then we are going to be doing some pressed green plantains. And for wash it down, we're gonna do some panganat, june plum, and ginger juice. Alright, guys, so so we peel the plantains right and i'm going to show you how i cut up my plantain them now so that them can stretch and of course you're not going to throw away your plantain peel because this is what you'll be using to press out your plantains all right so here we go that's like i got so now boom i'll cut them in two so instead of doing them all i'll cut them in two so that everybody can get more So I'm going to cut them up so in a half. I'm going to skin these back here. So let's take off that. Put the plant in. Alright. Yeah, so every man I'm going to get like about five or six pieces, you know, because see, they're enough. Enough. Yeah. So we're gonna use 100% coconut oil and we're gonna use almost all of this because we want to deep fry so that the plantains and whatever we're looking about don't soak up too much of the oil. And uh, yeah, so we can keep it healthy. So guys, we're going to test if the oil hot. We're going to use a piece of scallion. Alright, the oil not hot yet because if it did hot, then the oil would have bubbled up around the scallion. So it's not hot yet. See that just I get hot. The oil just start bubble up around the scallion. So that's how you test your oil. Alright, so we just put in a few pieces at a time and we're gonna make them here go on fry until them turn golden yellow. So guys, everything even out here now. See how them golden? So we just gonna take them out and hear them dropping at the pot. Don't hear ya. Well crispy. And we're gonna put them in the colander so that the oil can drain off. And then we're gonna put in the next batch. Well golden and pretty. See that? No bono planting. So I'm going to put in the next batch here now. Alright guys, so I'm going to press out the plant in them now. So I like make work light, you know. So I just put in like uh, two or three depending on how long the plant and skin is. I'll we'll just go so and press, press. I'm like press them out flat because I like them crispy. Alright, so I just press, press, so and press out two more in like this. Alright, 
I'm gonna take them out, see how them press out. I'm going to put them back on the stove now and then I'm going to finish fry. So this is a nice little Christmas catering idea too. You know, you have your Christmas party function and you want some finger foods. Yeah, you can use this. And it's a nice breakfast idea. So it out, we'll take them out. Let's put the press out on them up so. I just want to keep as much of the planting skin as possible so that when one break up you can use the next one. So these are the last batch. I'll continue to press out the rest of planting them. The fire is gone down a little bit so we'll just build it up back. And yeah, we're gonna make those go and fry and we'll continue to press out. And you have to be careful though you take them up because sometimes they will break up, especially if they don't fry too good or they don't soak too well at this stage, then we break so you have to take your time and take them up. So this basically are them really hard but this are the most challenging part of frying the planting but more they really said hard because it's when you're done you're gonna love this yeah you're gonna love this so you're not gonna find out the hard about this this is like one of my favorite jamaican breakfast i love pressed green planting i'm like when my planting them press out and them nice and them crispy and just here nice yeah so I'm going to put with this now and we're going to use a fresh one for the batch we leave. Just show with this. Yeah, we're going to turn them here now. Just with us. You don't really have to turn them but you just want to make sure it's everything even out. The flat fire kind of moves like lazy. But yeah, it's a go on. So we're going to return these to the fire and then we're going to press the last batch. By the time these finish fried, the other batch will be ready. So yeah, we're going to make these get crispy. I'm just going to transfer these in a dish because I'm going to need the pan since the pan is bigger. See them plant them now, broke up them well fry. Fry nice and good. Alright, so family, this, these are so crispy. When I say crispy, but I really like them well done. Crispy, crispy like banana chips. So that's just make them stay a little bit more and then we take them off. So I'll line the pan with a piece of napkin to take care of some of the oil and we're going to take out this batch now and put in some more. So guys, we're just going to throw off some of this oil and we're going to use it back to do the cook up salt fish and string bean. Sure. Alright guys, so we're just going to use back some of this oil to do the fry up, the cook up salt fish and string bean. It's well hot already so I'm not going to use too much. Just a little bit for grease the bottom of the pot. Alright guys, if you have not tried cook up string bean yet, you need to try it. This is so nice all by itself. 
So we start by putting in the onions and the garlic. And then the sweet pepper. Scotch bunny pepper. Seeing the scallion or escallion. Just eat as a quick stir. I want to smell the flavor. Yes! Nice. And then we're going to put in the string bean now and fry them up. Okay. And I want them burn. Alright, so we're just going to stir. And we want to keep the color of the string bean so they're not supposed to brown out and look ugly. It's supposed to green and pretty. Fry them up so that they preserve the color. Now overdo it. Alright, this is our meal is naturally on a budget people. Now I'm breaking a bank. Now we still can eat healthy. And the food tastes good. Alright guys, so just I make some space with the salt fish now. Let's put these aside like this and put in the salt fish. So, my salt is not really so salt because I wash out the salt out of it. That is most of the salt. So, you know, all that salt. Just stir this up now. Mix up everything together. And then we're going to put in the tomato. And then look at those colors. And then we just have to make a little gravy for this so we can eat it with the planting. Alright, so we're putting a little ketchup and a little water, make that boil down and make the gravy so that we can eat the planting with it. Look at those colors, people. Nothing overdone. So, guys, we just have to chew in the little ketchup now. I'm going to put a little tip of sugar in it. You know, just eat a little. Sweetish taste. We're just gonna leave this, make it just cook down for like maybe two more minutes. So we don't want to lose the color of the vegetables. And then we'll remove it from the frame. So guys, we're finished with the cooking now. So we're just gonna remove this from the fire. See the vegetables still green and pretty. Tomatoes still red. We'll take it off now. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's not orange juice this morning, it's not your American but your Jamaican breakfast. So, um, what I normally do is to pick out the pomegranate seeds and store them in the freezer. So, I have these from long before now. And then the June plum, we pick fresh this morning. People will get all of these from a neighborhood, from a community. We live as a family, so yeah, when one person has something, it's share. So, um... We're going to go ahead because since the June plum is the hardest, we are going to go ahead and add the June plums first to the blender. Alright, so we're also going to put in the ginger at the same time. We're going to add the water. And guys, I use the skin of my June plums because I just believe in getting every benefit. If the thing is edible, I believe in getting all of the benefits from it. And so I use the skin of my June plum. I don't peel them off and it don't taste any different. Alright, so we're going to go ahead now and add the pomegranate seeds. Guys, this juice tastes nice. It's not the first time I'm doing it. It's something that I really love. And especially, you know, that pomegranate is good for the men. So good for the prostate we add this now add about a half of what i had in the bag i 
And at this point, I can't even call this breakfast again. This is more like brunch because it's past 12 o'clock. So we're going to strain this now. I'm going to add a little sugar when we finish. If you are not a sugar lover, you can always add honey. You can always add some honey instead of the sugar. Or sometimes I just drink my juice without sugar. But yeah, I think I need the sugar this morning. So we're going to add some sugar to this. And just enough to give it a nice taste. Not to make it too sweet. Just squeeze out every little bit and use a spoon and press it out and get all of the nutrients people everything we want press out every little juice So guys this is my finished dish and I did a little pak choy as well to go with it and my little rose and some fresh veggies and then let us pour the juice now breakfast is served guys if you want to see more videos like these please let me know so it won't be often but once i'm putting together you know a meal that i can video and it's not too time consuming i definitely will show you how to how we prepare our jamaican traditional dishes <laughs>